horses are coming onto the track for the third race at DuCoin. Win, play, show, and exact a wagering. This is the first of three eliminations of the darn safe stakes for Illinois bred two-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. The top three finishers will come back from each elimination, and one of the fourth-place finishers will be coming back drawn by lot for the $50,000 final on Saturday. Don't forget Saturday's World Trotting Derby card, which starts at 12 noon. Reserve seating $10 and general admission $5. Other than Saturday afternoon, the other harness racing programs will feature free grandstand admission throughout the course of the week. And don't forget, we are dark on Wednesday. Let's meet the starters for the third race. Number one, Poe, owned by Black Acre Racing Incorporated of St. Charles of Dick Baylog, trained by John Boot and Shane, the driver, Tony Morgan. Number two, Out of the Box, owned by Ray Hanna of Altamont, Dick Corson of St. Peter, and Bryce Geiler of Ken Mundy, Illinois, trained by Ray Hanna, the driver, Dale Heitman. Number three, Bankers Lane, is owned by Doug Ackerman Stables Incorporated of LaPorte, Indiana, trained and driven by National Hall of Famer Doug Ackerman. Number four is Harry's Firebolt, owned by the PH Stable of Crosswicks, New Jersey, of Per Henriksen, trained by Joe Anderson. Norway's Per Henriksen is in the bike. Number five, Never Seafish, is owned by Ralph and Margaret Hawkins of Chino Hills, California, trained by Roy Saul, and the driver is Altamont native Neil Coleman. Number six, Blake's Charger, is owned by Jack Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, by Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, and Dennis and Kevin Lacomey's Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois, trained by Irv Miller, Andy Miller is driving. Number seven, Crimson King, is owned by John, Linda, and Scott Howard of Sherman, trained and driven by Fairfield native Dirk Simpson. And number eight, Mr. Whistlebritches, owned by Les Banks of Sheridan and by Bruce Johnson of Chicago. Jim Mitchell is the trainer. And Dave McGee is the driver. Post time in three minutes for tonight's third race. Only three minutes. The track is fast. Here they come. They are off and trotting. Blake's Charger goes out for the lead. Banker's Lane is there between horses. Out of the box is off stride. At the entry to the first turn, Harry's Firebolt has also broken stride. Blake's Charger is the leader. It opens up by three lengths midway on the turn. Banker's Lane goes second a length and a half. Poe is racing in the third position. Never See Fish is fourth. Crimson King is fifth. A gap of five more lengths to Mr. Whistle Britches, then out of the box and Harry's Firebolt, the distant trailer. 30 and one-fifth was the time for the opening quarter. Blake's Charger leads it by four lengths, heading on to the back stretch. Banker's Lane is second by two lengths, followed by Poe, who's racing in third. Never See Fish is fourth, and Crimson King is fifth as everyone stays single file. A gap of five more lengths to Mr. Whistlebritches in sixth, followed by Out of the Box in seventh, and a gap of ten more lengths back to Harry's Firebolt, who is last. At the halfway juncture, Blake's Charger is on top and leads it by nearly three lengths. Banker's Lane second by two. Poe is third. The half was timed in a minute flat. Blake's Charger leads it by three lengths at the entry to the far turn. Banker's Lane is second, flanked by Poe, who moves up on the outside. Never See Fish is racing in the fourth position. And then Crimson King, Mr. Whistle Bridges out of the box, and Harry's Firebolt is last. Blake's Charger on the lead by just over three lengths. Back to Banker's Lane, who's second ahead. Poe is third on the outside, and Never See Fish is fourth. They got three quarters in 129 and three. Blake's Charger leads it by four lengths, turning for home. Back to Banker's Lane, who's second by a neck. And then Poe is third. Never See Fish is fourth, and Crimson King is a wide fifth. At the eighth pole, Blake's Charger leads it by three lengths to Banker's Lane, who is in the second position down toward the rail. Blake's Charger by four lengths, a wall of trotters behind him. Banker's Lane second, Poe is third, then Never See Fish and Crimson King on the grandstand side. Blake's Charger makes it three in a row for Andy and Irvin Miller. Blake's Charger wins it by three lengths over Banker's Lane in second, and Poe was third in a time of 159 and three wins. Into the winner's circle now, folks. They have teamed up to win the first three races tonight. Trained by Irvin Miller, driven by his younger brother, Andy. Here's number six, Blake's Charger. Blake's Charger, a two-year-old Armbro Charger colt, bred by Dr. Kenneth and Patricia Walker's Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. 
out of the multiple Illinois Stakes winning mare Betty Irene by Noble Hustle. This colt is a full brother to this year's three-year-old Illinois State Fair trotting champion at Springfield varsity player. He is owned by Jack Hood and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, and by Dennis and Kevin Lacomey's Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois. Result is still unofficial.